Are you tired of walking simulators? Does low effort in the game no longer satisfy you? Then oh boy do I got the game for you. Battle of Empires is basically Man of War set in the First World War. If you don't know what the Man of War series is, then it's a series of very good military strategy games and I would strongly recommend you to check them out. If you are a low IQ individual like me, then you might be scared away by the intimidating DLC practice of this game. But don't fear, it's not really all that complicated. The prologue contains the base game and a handful of missions, and then you have to buy all the campaigns individually. As complicated as this may seem, it is not too bad. I bought the base game and the British campaign for 5 bucks in a sale, and that gave me plenty of content, and it's a good place to start. The strangest part of the DLC scheme is that the Blood DLC is for free. Is that even possible? So what is this game all about? Well, it's a strategy game. A real-time tactics game, actually, if you want to be down with the kids. In each mission you are given a set of units and reinforcement points, and then you will have to make do and complete your objective. You will control infantry, tanks, artillery, and all units can also be directly controlled by you, the player. All units have their own inventory, and you can swap weapons, loot ammunition, plant dynamite, repair tanks, set up uh, sand barricades, and so on and so forth. Yes, sir. It is very overwhelming, and to state the obvious, you won't micromanage all your units to this degree in large battles. It is often the small actions, however, which can turn a battle around. Repairing a broken artillery gun, or sending a handful of soldiers to sneak up and kill the enemy mortars can have a huge impact on the battlefield. Yes, the game do have uh, stealth gameplay, and there are a number of missions where you have to go behind enemy lines with a handful of soldiers to sabotage or free captive allies. You can do silent takedowns with throwing knives, and it is fun and a nice uh, change of pace. With that being said, the stealth is very bare bones and basic, and this is no commandus. In contrast to this, there are some maps which are very big, where you will be in control of a tons of different soldiers spread out over different flanks. Artillery will fire non-stop, and towns will be raised to the ground, and in the middle of all this you will zoom in and find some unit doing something really badass by himself. The sense of scale is very impressive, and it's one of the things which makes the game really fun. So is everything perfect? No, of course not. The pathfinding is not always that great, and sometimes the AI does strange things. I had some strange audio problems as well, and the direct control can be a bit janky. The micromanagement can also be a bit too much at times, and it can be very confusing. With that being said, you can decrease the game speed to make it easier for yourself to manage. But all in all, I had a very fun time with this game. I can only speak for the base game and the British campaign, but I really liked it. Perhaps the real question is if I plan to continue with the rest of the campaigns, and yes, I think I will, although I will take a short break, as it took me around 16 hours to complete the content that I originally bought. But I would recommend the game to anyone with an interest in the genre, and always remember that artillery is the shit and will be the answer for all your problems. Oh, you're 
come from? <laughs> Take a bow! <laughs> 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 